Missy, I'm gonna go get my nails done. Do you wanna come? God, yes. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye, Missy. Bye, bye Missy. Bye. See ya. Goodbye, Leonard. Oh, uh, yeah, no, uh, bye, Penny. <laughs> Okay, you two have to back off. Why should I back off? You back off, dude. Excuse me, this is my apartment and she's my roommate's sister. So what? You've already got Penny. How do I have Penny? In what universe do I have Penny? So I can have Penny? Hell no! <laughs> Excuse me, can I interject something? I'm ordering pizza online. Is everyone okay with pepperoni? <laughs> Sheldon, can I talk to you in private? I guess. Don't worry, I was going to order you cheeseless. Thank you. It all started with a big bang. Hey! I'm a fancy Indian man. We invented pajamas. <laughs> hey, look at me. I don't have a foreskin. <laughs> Sheldon, are you aware that your sister is an incredibly attractive woman? Hmm. She certainly has a symmetry and low body fat that Western culture deems desirable. Yeah, it's noteworthy. At other points in history, heavier women were the standard for beauty because their girth suggested affluence. That's fascinating, but... I didn't say it was fascinating. I said it was noteworthy. All right. Uh, noted. But my point is that Kuthra Polly and Wallowitz, they're hitting on your sister. Oh, it's... Oh. Okay. You know, I don't want to criticize your rhetorical style, but we'd be a lot further along in this conversation if you'd begun with that thought. That's great. What, what I'm, I'm saying is that we took quite an unnecessary detour from what I now understand to be your thesis. Whatever. <laughs> you have to do something about it. Why? Because she's your sister. I don't understand. But yes, we shared a uterus for nine months. But since then, we've pretty much gone our own separate ways. <laughs> okay, uh... Uh, consider this. Um, with your father gone, it is your responsibility to make sure that Missy chooses a suitable mate. I hadn't considered that. We do share DNA. Uh -huh. So there is the possibility, however remote, that resting in her loins is the potential for another individual as remarkable as myself. <laughs> Exactly. And you owe it to yourself and to posterity to protect the genetic integrity of your sister's future offspring. You're right. If someone wants to get at Missy's fallopian tubes, they'll have to go through me. <laughs> ¶¶